Welcome. This is the second video about clearing, and we're going to go into some more specific tools and techniques. If you haven't watched my first video on clearing, you can get that on my website, binauraljourneys.com, and I would encourage you to watch that one first because it lays the groundwork for what we're going to do here because we're going to go right into specific techniques. The first technique I want to talk about is what's often called tapping. Um, and one specific version of it that is fairly well known is called EFT. Um, and EFT is the work of a guy by the name of Gary Craig, who's a really interesting guy um, and has done some just amazing stuff. And the idea is that you kind of say some stuff and you tap on specific points, uh, you know, three or four times in each place as you're saying some things. And then when you've done that, you feel different. And I know that is odd um, because it certainly goes against the Western medical model, but it's worked for me a lot. I've had it work with other people a lot. I've seen it work with other people a lot. It can be very, very powerful, and it's so easy to learn. Now, I do not pretend to teach Gary Craig's EFT, that his organization provides really good training, and there's a link under this video to that. Um, and if you want to go really deeply into it, then you're welcome to do that. I've made some of my own changes and uh, sort of figured out what works for me and with people that I work with. And they're very much in line with a lot of what Gary does. Um, but it's also different. And so I don't claim to be teaching EFT. This is tapping. And it can be really useful. So I want to introduce you to it. So what are we actually doing? Well, we're very gently drawing our attention to a problem or a thing we want to shift, but in a very gentle way and starting to reframe it a little bit and to accept it as a part of ourselves. And then as we're holding that just slightly altered view of it, we're tapping on specific meridian points, um, which I, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on Chinese medicine. I'm not, but it, makes things flow. It activates things. It gets, uh, it, it allows new connections to happen. It facilitates things sort of setting in place. I think that to see how this works, it's much more effective rather than for me to just explain it and demonstrate tapping on my own face. Um, this thing that looks kind of silly I think it's much more effective to do it in an interactive way. And so I'm going to do a free webinar. It'll be on March 14th, 2012 at 8 p.m. Eastern. And we're going to do it on Skype so that we can talk interactively and also use Skype videos so that even if you don't have a video camera, at least you can see me to see where the points are. And... Uh, so people can sign up for that at binauraljourneys.com slash tapping. Um, and then after, if you're watching this after March 14th or you can't come on the 14th, then the video of the uh, of that live session will be posted at that same URL, binauraljourneys.com slash tapping. And um, if, the, if it's popular and people want more of these live sessions, it's definitely something that uh, we can talk about doing in the future. Because we're doing this on Skype, 
I really can only work with eight to 10 people. It's just a limitation of the platform. So this is going to be a small group. So please, if you're interested, sign up while there's space. And if you do sign up and end up deciding you're not going to be able to come, please let me know so that I can make the space available to somebody else. But there's no charge for this, and I would love to have you. And we'll actually work on stuff that is bothering you, that you're uncomfortable with. Um, we can do all sorts of things, fears and phobias, physical pain, trauma, kind of whatever, whatever you want to bring up. Do I promise that this will cure anything? No, of course I can't do that. But often it works in a surprising number of cases where you really do want to change something. And so I'll be working with people one on one, but with everybody watching and tapping along because you actually get benefits from tapping even for their problem, which is another one of these things that modern physics doesn't totally understand, but it's been the experience of lots of people. And we'll have a good time. We'll, we'll go an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and so that's the tapping workshop again, binauraljourneys.com slash tapping to sign up or if it's already happened to find the video. So that's the first of these three ideas that I want to present to you. That's a technique for clearing specific things when you know there's something specific you want to clear. Um, tapping can be a really powerful and fast and easy way to do it. Now we're going to take another level into another step into what to some people will feel like the coolest thing ever and to other people may feel a little strange. Remember, I'm not telling you you need to do any of these. So, you know, take what is useful to you and feel very comfortable about leaving the rest. So this is something that I love. And I don't understand why everybody in the world doesn't love it, but it's weird. <laughs> and so everybody in the world doesn't love it. Um, and so if you if you're not drawn to this, you may be more in the majority than not. And that's fine. But I just want to spend a few minutes talking about it. And that's this thing called Shiva Nada or Dance of Shiva. And. It's something I learned about from Javi Brooks, who I talked about on the last video, um, and she describes it as wacky yoga brain training, which is as good an explanation as I've found. And um, Javi really is the sort of go to expert on Dance of Shiva. I don't teach it at all. Um, I practice it. I find it helpful. And I am at the very beginning of what is a very deep practice if you want to go there with it and uh, don't feel like I'm anywhere near a place to teach it. So what is it? It is a set of simple. There are eight hand positions and there are also foot positions, but I haven't gotten to them. Um, but there are four horizontal hand positions and for vertical hand positions. And the whole process, the dance, is doing the, is positions which are simple in complicated patterns of what you're doing with your left hand and what you're doing with the right hand and doing it fast. Um, and you know, you can change the speed of your practice depending on what you want to do, but the whole point is to do it at a level that it's hard enough for that it's hard for you, that you make a lot of mistakes, that you're really sort of flailing um, at times, because as you're flailing and trying to learn this very frustrating, impossible thing, your brain is making all sorts of new connections that can show you patterns about all kinds of stuff in your life and have epiphanies just show up as you're 
sort of allowing yourself to cool down afterwards. And it's just cool. So um, I'll give you a few links to places you can start if this sounds like something you might want to explore. Um, if you're pretty sure that, yes, I want to go deeply into this, then um, Javi's starter kit is the place to start. And it's, I think, $75 or something like that. And it comes with the DVD by Andre, who's her teacher, who is sort of the master, the world master of um, Shivanada, not in a hierarchical way, but in that he's the number one teacher of it in the world. And Javi's kind of the number two teacher of it in the world. So this package has his DVD and a bunch of resources from Javi to help you um, get started with a serious practice. But you have to invest a fair amount of money to be to, to start there. However, there is a great online class, and I did not write down the name of the wonderful woman who teaches it, but I will give you a link to it. And the class is called Shiva Monster Nibbles. And this is a great free class where she sends you videos um, that work much like this. You get an email with a link to a video and teaches you Shivanada a little bit at a time, the sort of beginning parts of it. And it's a good starting point. And I actually found it really helpful, even though I already had the DVD uh, and Javi's kit that I found it started at an even more basic level, which I found useful. And so the other thing that Javi has now is an iPhone app. Um, and my favorite way to do Shivanada is with Javi's iPhone app. And so the combination of the Shiva, the Shiva Monster Nibbles class and the iPhone app is a great way to start I don't remember what the app costs, but it's not terribly expensive. So you can start with the Nibbles class and then play with the iPhone app. And then if you want to go deeper, take the whole package. So Dance of Shiva. If you have questions about Dance of Shiva, I'm happy to try and answer them for you. And I'm liable to tell you that I don't know because I feel like I don't know very much about it. It just is something I find useful. The third clearing technique that I want to share with you, and then I want to finish with a sort of bonus idea that's not really a clearing technique, but is more about why this is also important and a way to kind of goose the effectiveness of all of this. And that will come at the very end. Third technique. Ho'oponopono. This is a Hawaiian healing clearing technique. I learned about it from Joe Vitale's book, Zero Limits, which he co-wrote with Dr. Hugh Len, who is a Hawaiian psychologist and practitioner of Ho'oponopono. And so the story, I'll... I'll sort of recount briefly the way I understand it from Joe's book is that he heard about this doctor in Hawaii, this psychologist who cured all of these very severe mental patients in the state hospital. But he never met with any of the patients. He never worked with them. He just sat in his office and did this ho'oponopono. Um, and Joe was able to talk, to track down Dr. Hulen. And in fact, that is the story and it's documented and the, the book tells the whole story and it's really pretty cool. And if you want to learn the whole story, I encourage you to get the book Zero Limits. Um, I think it's good stuff. 
But you don't need to read the book or understand the story in order to use the, the basic technique because it's so simple. And so that's what I'm going to share with you here. So the first thing is that when we are practicing Ho'oponopono, we recognize that we create, that we are responsible for everything in our experience. That's big. Everything we experience, we create. I think that's true, that we are co-creators of everything we experience and that by clearing within ourselves, we can change our outward experience. So what happened when Dr. Hulen was working on these patients or working healing these patients was that he basically said that they're in his experience and therefore he's a creator of that and is responsible for it. And so what he does is work on himself and they get better. Now, you can also work on yourself and you get better. It all happens at the same time. So how do we do this? It's actually really simple. If there's something specific that you want to work on, you just hold it in your mind in a very gentle way and then let it go. And then you repeat these four phrases. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And we're saying them in a very gentle way. It's very gently directed towards the divine. But there's not a lot of intention behind it. A lot of feeling. To, f to feel the words fully. But not a lot of intention. So it's not for or about anything in particular. So we say, I'm sorry. What are we sorry for? Nothing. Nothing in particular. Please forgive me. What are we asking for forgiveness for? Nothing and everything. Do we need forgiveness? No. Thank you for everything. I love you. And I think that's the most powerful one. So it's not, this is not a confession. It's just four phrases that are repeated as a mantra. Why those four phrases? I really don't know. But what I know is that using them has been powerful for me. And it's particularly powerful when done in a meditative or trance state. And I discovered this for, for a while. Um, I was going to get acupuncture two or three times a week. And I love acupuncture and I'll go back to doing it often. I'm just sort of taking a break from it now uh, because that's what feels right right now. Uh, I find it super helpful in lots of ways and really wonderful, wonderfully relaxing. Um, and I'm particularly fond of the community acupuncture network, um, the, this form of community acupuncture clinics where you can get really good treatment very inexpensively because of the model of how they work. Um, but that aside... One of the things I discovered, having had a lot of acupuncture and also having a background in meditation and hypnosis and trance work and all of this woo-woo stuff, um, or whatever you want to call it, is that I noticed that, you know, they would talk about it as typically, you know, you lay down, they put the needles in, and you fall asleep. And I'm not convinced, at least for me, 
that I really was falling asleep. I think that what was happening is I was going into a deep trance, um, which is not sleep. It's different. Although if you go deep enough that you don't remember what happened while you were in the trance, it can feel very much like waking up from sleep because, again, it was a period of unawareness. But in any case, I got into the habit as I was laying there in the in the chair with needles sticking out all over the place, which doesn't hurt, by the way, and almost almost always. Um, it's, it's very comfortable. I'm relaxing. I'm falling into this really beautiful, floaty trance state. And I'm repeating these phrases. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And I, what I found is that it was like turning the voltage of the treatment way up, not in that it made it more comfortable, in, uh, less comfortable, but that it made it way more powerful. Um, and so I think the combination from from further experimentation of Ho'oponopono with trance. Powerful combination or with meditation. There are people who will argue to the end of the world that trance and meditation are different. I won't argue with them, but I think they're wrong. <laughs> um, based on my, my own experience and my own research. So based on all of this, I've created what I call the journey of clearing, which is a, an audio meditation that you listen to. It's binaural, uh, like the journey of relaxation and the journey to the spirit of healing. But it works quite differently in, in some ways. It's a very different kind of experience. And I'm not going to go into detail about it, but if you're excited and you want to play with it and give it a try or buy it, um, it is on the website under clearing, uh, binauraljourneys.com. And I'm going to send you more information about it in a week or so uh, if you're getting messages email messages from me, and that's how you found out about this. Otherwise, you can sign up for the messages on the website or just check out the, um, the journey of clearing there. Um, but the idea is it's a, it's a really deep way of doing this Ho'oponopono practice that all you have to do is put on your headphones and listen and just allow it to wash over you. As I'm saying these phrases and lots of other things. And you just sort of drift into trance and allow this to all wash through you. And it's a really relaxing, comfortable experience that also is doing this clearing work that is so powerful that we've been talking about. So that's Ho'oponopono and the journey of clearing. But I promised you a bonus. And that's that I wanted to take a little bit different approach to talking about why I think that clearing is important. And this is from a more sort of woo-woo, esoteric perspective on it. And that is that clearing allows your personal vibration, your energy, the level of your energy to rise. And to some of you, depending on what you've studied and what your background is, that may make perfect sense and it may be even really important and you, you understand why it's really important right away. Uh, for others of you, that may be a totally new idea and I'm going to talk way more about it because I think it's really important, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to ask that you trust me that allowing your vibration to rise is really important and powerful to having the life you want. And that 
clearing is a great way to start with it, and there'll be lots more information to come. So working with this vibration directly, the best way I know to help your vibration to rise directly is the power of grace. It's about allowing the divine in to work through you, to, to take the weight from you. Like we talked about with dream assignments in the last video. This is about allowing grace to raise your vibration in a pretty direct way. It's a transmission of energy of the perfect high vibration for you that we call a grace blessing. And this is the work that my friend Erica teaches. And I mentioned her um, in the last video. Uh, and this Grace Blessings work that she talks about and teaches and writes about is amazing. And I use it all the time, both for myself and also giving other people Grace Blessings. Erica has a free eight-week class that's an introduction to working with this Grace Blessing energy. I shouldn't say working with because it isn't really working, but experiencing. And it will raise your vibration. And it will initiate this process that she describes as enlightenment. And I think that's as good a word for it as anything else, uh, although it can be a pretty loaded word. <laughs> um, so I'll give you the link to sign up for Erica's eight week class. If you're interested, it's online. You do it at your own pace. You get grace blessings through the class. It's, it's really cool. Um, and I want to give you a grace blessing through the video or audio or text right now. But before we do that, because this is a, sort of experiential thing. I want to just finish up. There are links to everything that we've talked about on the page of binauraljourneys.com under clearing, um, where this video is if you're watching it on my site. And if not, there should be a link right under the video to take you to that page. So there's links to everything, uh, to the more information about EFT and the workshop and the tapping, uh, the tapping uh, webinar I'm going to do, um, Dance of Shiva, Ho'oponopono, and the Journey of Clearing. It's all there on the site for you to look at when you're ready. So we'll finish with the grace blessing. And here's how this works. First thing, make sure you're not driving. And make sure you can lay down quietly for 15 or 20 minutes afterwards to let the energy really integrate. It makes it much more effective and much more comfortable. Um, what are you going to feel as you receive this grace blessing? I don't know. You may feel energy moving. Sometimes you feel nothing because the energy is at a vibration that you're not used to feeling, even if you are a person who feels energy. Um, I, I've found as a, a grace blessing practitioner that often I feel more during the actual grace blessing. Um, and the people who are receiving them feel more afterwards. And sometimes for days and weeks, it, it just keeps working and working. Um, so I'm going to go into silence and if you're watching the video, um, I I'll be transmitting energy through my eyes and you may want to look at my eyes or you can just sit with your eyes closed quietly. Um, if you're listening to the audio version, you'll receive it through that too. I know I was really skeptical about that until I tried it with some of Erica's stuff and it works. 
Um, and you'll find in the text version of this that there's a piece of artwork on the next page. And the grace blessing is actually embedded in this piece of artwork. And you just, just gaze at it for a few minutes. Um, we'll only take a couple of minutes. We'll do it softly. And then uh, we'll finish the video. So last thing before we go into the grace blessing... If you have questions or comments, please reply to any of my emails or email andy at andydoff.com. I'd love to hear from you, hear what you think and what you're experiencing. And I'm going to just take a moment to go deeper into the presence, and then I will transmit your grace blessing. It is done. So now just go lay down for 15 or 20 minutes or however long feels right and let it integrate, bask in it. And now notice what happens over the next few days. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching and enjoy the journey.